I'm doing a craft fair tomorrow. <laughs> uh, my sister and I are doing one. Um, it's just a small little thing. There's like seven, maybe seven crafters. Um, I'm mainly doing it mostly for my sister because my sister really wanted to try it out. So I've been rushing around like a mad woman trying to get everything ready. I've spent all day getting stuff ready, tagging it, packing it. Oh, God, my back is killing me. <laughs> I haven't even started anything and it's already hurting. <laughs> so anyway, um, for those of you that have like do craft fairs, I have a little thing for you to think about. Uh, I had this idea that I, I saw a lady at a craft fair a few years back. She had a display that hung um, dream, window catchers and dream catchers and stuff like that. And it, the thing, it was over top of her table, right? And it was made of wood. And um, so it went up about two, two and a half feet above her table and um, it clamped onto her table and she just hung stuff on it, her lights and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, huh, I wonder if I can design something like that to put like hang baby sweaters on or um, in the summertime, like for this craft fair, uh, I want to be able to hang my window catcher or my window sun catchers and stuff on it and I thought how am I going to do that so I came up with this plan okay George and I came up with this plan I wanted to do PVC pipe with elbows and I couldn't figure out how to do the base um I saw a guy at the craft fair this Christmas and he had like fabricated metal things. I went, nah, I don't know. George came up with an idea. He is so brilliant, I'll tell you. He says, what about Christmas tree stands? Okay. So I went on Amazon and I found, or we found these Christmas tree stands and they're even in crochet A colors. <laughs> So I I got, uh, what is it, three-fourths, uh, yeah, three-fourths inch PVC pipe. I got two elbows. We cut the pipe at a six-foot length and then four feet length, two four-feet lengths. And then I went to put the PVC pipe in the Christmas tree, <laughs> the Christmas tree um, holders, and the PVC pipe was way too small. And the pipe, the holders were way too big. The screw things were were too short. And I thought, oh crap, what am I going to do now? So George came up with the idea of putting pool pool noodle pieces in there. This guy, you know, sometimes I, he just absolutely shakes me. <laughs> you know, like I just I look at him and I go, who are you? So, anyways, I tried it. And it worked brilliantly. So I want to show it to you. Excuse my mess. Hang on. Okay. Oh. Excuse all my crochet mess here. This is where I sit. <laughs> and I've got all my mess of crochet there. <laughs> okay. So here's the, the stands. Okay. There's one there. There's one there. And the pool noodle is inside and it fits snug. It's awesome. So there's the four foot length one and the six foot length one. And so I'm gonna put fabric over top of all this. And at Christmas time, I'm gonna wrap lights on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, use uh, shower curtain hangers I got some shower curtain hangers and I'm gonna hang them here 
and then I can hang the um, sun catchers and stuff on them, right? I've got some baby, uh, what do you call them? Baby hangers. So at Christmas time, I can hang all my baby sweaters on there, provided that I'm actually going to make that many. So I thought that was a really good idea. It's really sturdy, right? Like it's, it's really sturdy. So I'll uh, take some video of it tomorrow and show you what it looks like. Good morning, Yarny Bees. It's the morning of the craft fair. Excuse me, craft fair. I'm on my way to... Where am I going? Crafted. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a little tired. Got my ears on. I've got uh, these. I'm selling these. They're um, dyed quartz crystal. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I need more coffee. Um, 
Good morning, Yarnabees. Okay, today is the day after the craft fair. <laughs> Got my too legit to knit cup. Um, I'm a little out of it right now. <laughs> I ended up um, having to take an ashwagandha before I went to bed and some painkillers. Um, ashwagandha is really good. It helps you sleep. It relaxes everything and it's, um, you get it from the health food store. Mm, it's awesome. So <clears throat> do a little wind up, tell you how it went. Um, I was not expecting very much from this craft fair, to be honest. It's been a long time since I've done just a tiny little craft fair. Um, when I first started crafting and doing my jewelry, uh, that's the kind of craft fairs that I would do, right? Just like, just little tiny ones, you know, not very many crafters, you know, just kind of getting my foot and my feet wet um, and getting my foot in the door kind of thing, testing out the waters. Um, and I always did really, really well. I, I I look at old pictures of my stock that I did way back then and the stuff that I do now and I'm just going, wow, things have changed. <laughs> so, um, and I did really, really well then and I don't think, I, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, that was in, <clears throat> God, I don't even remember. 2004 something I don't know something like that that was a long time ago <laughs> so, <laughs> but um it was a I mean now I do big craft fairs right with my crochet and everything I have big displays I have you know it's it's been a long road to finding out what works what doesn't work and you know I, I realized yesterday that craft fairs with jewelry and craft fairs with crochet, completely different animal. I forgot how uh, exhausting setting up jewelry was and tearing it down. Oh my God. Oh, the tear down process is brutal. Um, because you have to do like with the stuff that I've got, I put them all in little baggies, like little Ziploc baggies. Um, I don't even have, anyway. Um, or I put them in little organza bags or, you know, stuff like that. So when you're setting up, you have to take everything out of the bag and set it up. And then, then when you tear down, you got to put it all back in the little bags. And it's like, oh my God. It took me, <laughs> well, we got there at 8.30 and it started at 10 and I was just about ready to, to open up. I just like, I think I did another 15 minutes. Like it was about 20 after 10 by the time I actually finished my setup. But then again, it was my first setup with my jewelry in umpteen million years so this was a trial and with my new stand and everything I really wanted to see how it would work um so things I need to tweak things that you know that don't work at all you know so this was a real test run for me oh, I learned a few things <laughs> um the stand I made brilliance I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, things I would change with it, I would make it higher. I'm going to have to get another length of PVC pipe and instead of making it four feet high, make it six feet high or something uh, or f even five feet high um, because I want to have the 
the sun, um, window uh, sun catchers and all that. I want them at eye level, right? Or higher, right? So, so that's something that I want to change. Um, the, the shelving that I had behind it, I want taken out. It didn't work at all. Um, because the bottom shelf you couldn't even use. You, you can't get in because of the stuff that was hanging down. You can't get underneath it. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to need two tables then because then I can take the shelving and put it on another table. And then I can take the, um, the rack that we made and I could push it back a little bit and have it more up against the wall. So, um, so that's going to have to change. Uh, what else? Yeah, it's just a matter of tweaking things and stuff, but all in all, it went really, really well. Um, amazingly enough, I'll put the picture here. These cat ears went like gone. I was gone. I, I was shocked. Um, and the funny thing is, is the lady that runs this bought four pair and she wants more. I'm going, eek, like, I don't know if I can get supplies to get it in. Um, so I'm desperately searching to find, um, find some more. <laughs> because she wanted to buy the ones right off my head. I was like, um, mm -mm. <laughs> so I didn't even get a chance to show them to you guys. Oh. I was like, what? Oh, man. So, yeah. Uh, so, they went really fast. Um, what else? Oh, I can't even think. Um, I Something else I want to change is I want to go to, like, a thrift store and buy a teacup with the saucer. And then I want to put one of my tea balls on it to show everybody what it is and everything. Because I had them all in the organza bags um, and people were kind of looking at them and they knew what they were. But for effect, you really want to have a display for stuff like that, um, you know, so people can actually see it. You know, I mean, I know it's just a tea ball, but, you know, some people don't know what a tea ball is. So, Yeah. So stuff like that I want to change. Little things, my my octopi, the the the, the um, purple ones that I made, they sold, gone. I was like, oh, all right, well. <laughs> uh, so I I did have some stuff on my sister's table like that and my scrubbies, um, because I just I couldn't fit it on everything and it just it looked wrong you know because I had jewelry and and stuff like that and then I had my rack which that's another thing that's gone um because it just didn't flow so I'm gonna my sister's gonna use the rack for my niece's stuff um I'm taking my stuff out it's just not it's just not gonna work so it's, I, I'm finding that I have to do one or the other. I can't do both because it just, it's, there's a disconnect there between crochet and jewelry it's for some reason. So, um, so yeah, I, <clears throat> um, yeah, I had a good day. I had a good day. Uh, I want to help my sister change up a few things on her table because they're the way that we had like she didn't have anything to really display so I brought some stuff but some things we figured out too is um like her cart handles she just had laid out nobody knew what they were so at the very end I should have thought of this before, but at the very end, she rolled them up and then put them standing up 
<coughs> in a basket, which helped a bit more. But we want she wants to get um, a dowel or something to put one on. Um, I'm thinking too, because uh, somebody had made a comment saying, great idea, but a little too late. Uh, I was kind of like, mm, no, it's not. Um, okay, granted, COVID is kind of on the back side of the burner now. Uh, but there are still a lot of people out there that are wearing masks in their car. You know, they're wearing masks all over the place. And they're, so they're obviously conscious of COVID still being out there, right? Um, but I think that it needs to be um, brought to the forefront a little bit more. I think that also that um, targeting new moms for it would be a really good plan for for that same reason that I was talking about before because the first thing that a baby will do will put their mouth on that handle <laughs> god just the thought of it makes me um so i'm i'm thinking that that might be something that we that she can change to you know um talk about but uh, and something else that people were saying too is, oh, well, I don't have any babies or I don't know any, you know, anybody that has baby. and babies being born all the time. Right. So, um, I don't know. I think maybe Christmas time she'll do better with stuff like that. But yeah. Um, again, the wristlets were in a basket. There was nothing like I have to find a an old set of keys or something or maybe I, I don't want to put my key fob out there because you never know <laughs> um but if we can find an old set of keys and then have I'm gonna get um a, a little, little a resin display you know the hands that kind of go like this or whatever uh and get one of those so that she could put it on there um so that people know what they are you know, so there's little things that we can tweak to, you know, because this thing goes on every Sunday, all year round. So I have a feeling that we may end up be do we may end up doing this more and more. We're already booked for next Sunday to do it again, um, and then we have to kind of go as it, you know, week by week because we don't know when Michelle's going to have her baby. So. Um, but it's a lot of setup for me, you know, I'm going to have to try and figure out how to minimize that because ugh, it was brutal. So, but yeah, it was really good. Um, the feedback was really good. Uh, I met some interesting people. So yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Um, also in Shimanus, I have the opportunity to open up my own little storefront. Uh, it's in a market. Okay, now I'm going to go back there and I'm going to do some video of it just so that you guys could see what I'm talking about. But it's a building and they've made it into a public market. It's not a big building. Um, there's not a lot of vendors in there. When we went there was like three, three or four vendors that were closed up for the season. Um, how the hell they do that? I don't know because you have to pay $500 a month for that space and they've got it all closed up. So I don't understand. Like they would have to pay monthly for not being there. That makes no sense. But anyway, <clears throat> Um, it's very much a seasonal type thing because, uh, apparently in the winter time, it's not that busy, which is crazy because Christmas, right? Like that's going to have to change. <laughs> um, so anyways, people are coming and going from there all the time, like vendors. Uh, they only go in the summertime when it's really busy. Um, there was only... 
I think three vendors there that were actually open, right? One of them hadn't been there for very long. Um, so I want to call the Chamber of Commerce and find out when the busy times are because they have, I think I talked about this with you guys already, but they have um, bus loads of people that come in. They've got murals, painted murals on the side of the buildings. So people come from all over the place to look at these murals and that's the really busy time and it's I don't know I guess between May and September so <clears throat> I want to find out I would like to try it for one um one month and see how it goes but I got to kind of get my timing right because that's a lot of setup it's like a 10 by 12 or uh depends on which stall you get and you can get double stalls but then you have to pay a thousand dollars a month but um i would have to do a lot of advertising <clears throat> so yeah there's that but at least i can tell people <clears throat> that you know i've got a permanent little space um i don't know because then I'd have, they're closed on Mondays and then the timing is from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I would have to be there all day, six days a week. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, the setup and tear down is what really gets me, right? Like my back and everything just kills. So I wouldn't have to do that. All I'd have to do is show up, bring some crochet and sit and wait, right? So... But when I went there, there wasn't anybody there. There's a coffee shop there that people were gathered. Um, so, <clears throat> so I don't know. I don't know what the dynamic is. But the one person that was there is a British fellow. He was telling me that he is, his wife made enough money to be able to knock out a wall, expand it, buy out two of the vendors that were there buy them out, buy, like buy their company out, <laughs> which is, I, I just don't even understand that, but, um, and put their stuff, like she bought out like a tea company and, and put her, put the stuff in her stall. So he says that he's got a really good Facebook presence and that really helps. And then, um, he really amps up the fact that they have some British candy there kind of thing. So <clears throat> I'm wondering how, how to do that. Right. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, they did say that there was a crochet or knitter there before and she didn't last. Um, she was there for maybe a month and she was gone. Uh, but the person did say that she was not very good at doing her business. Um, she didn't engage with people. She sat and looked at her phone. Um, so that's kind of where we're different. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. I'm thinking about it. So anyway, okay guys, I'm going to go, uh, Thanks for watching. <laughs> and I guess I will talk to you guys later. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment today. Um, I'm going to go talk to him about some stuff. So I'll keep you updated on that. And uh, yeah. Okay. I love you all. Bye.